Hey guys, so today I really wanted to talk about the Salesforce UX design certification as I spent a lot of time learning about the field of human computer interaction in university. I also have the TCPS2 certification that deals with a lot of the ethical considerations that are around experimenting on humans. I think it's awesome that Salesforce is really taking the step forward to educate the masses of these human-centered design principles as everyone needs to know about it in the organization as the end user are humans. The certification touches on a variety of subjects within this field from research to lightning web components and other Salesforce UI components. I would recommend the Salesforce certification only if you are familiar with the Salesforce platform as a lot of the questions deal with the Salesforce UI components. The Salesforce Lightning Design System is a bunch of pre-configured components and other things that you can only take the advantage of if you fully know how to build Lightning Web Components, which is why I recommend building a few Lightning Web Components to understand the full scope of UI components. Another subject that comes to mind is testing and how do users receive the UI component? So that's called user acceptance testing. The main resource I used to study for this exam was the Dinesh Yadav blog, as there is a lot of information here. They go through all the points and all the vocab that you need to know for this test. And I think this is a really big help. So I would mainly focus on this and it usually links to a lot of the trailheads. So as you go, you can click the trailhead, go back to the blog and keep going and keep learning. And I would say this is, this should be your main focus. And then also study this awesome user experience designer trail mix as this is all the things you would need to know that's from Salesforce itself. And you can also go back and forth between the blog and this. I also attended Dreamforce this year and I was really excited about this design corner that Salesforce has put up and I will share some of the resources I found in a future video. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you need help with the certification, you can feel free to reach out to me on my blog contact me form or on LinkedIn. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.